In the past, it was common to see NHL players smoking and drinking in the dressing room. However, in today's game, such behavior would be unthinkable as athletes like Connor McDavid are leading the way towards a healthier lifestyle. But what some NHL players eat will definitely shock you. Get ready to hear about the crazy diets of NHL players. Number one, Jacob Chikrin. Hockey fans were very surprised and frankly a bit repulsed after discovering the details of Ottawa Senators defenseman Jacob Chikrin's extreme dietary regimen. This includes consuming raw liver and raw beef heart. Chikrin admitted that everyone thinks he is crazy, including his family, his teammates, and even his girlfriend. Chikrin said, it's a lot of protein and on game days I steer clear of carbs. Instead, I'll have some sweet potatoes, white rice, and fruit but I prefer my dairy products raw. It's like living in an ancestral way, and I'm also incorporating raw liver and raw beef heart into my diet. It may taste awful, but your body starts to crave it when you consume it consistently because of its high nutrient density. While Chikrin may find it beneficial, it's understandable if his teammates feel a little bit uncomfortable if he's taking down raw meat in the locker room before a game. Number two, Mitch Marner. Marner attracted significant attention during the 2019 postseason as the Toronto Maple Leafs faced off against the Boston Bruins. His standout performance in game one, where he scored two goals, earned him praise even from the opposing coach who said his play reminds him of that of Wayne Gretzky. Adding to the intrigue was an NHL behind the scenes video showcasing Marner's pregame routine. Among the revelations was a habit that seemed straight out of childhood, stirring chocolate syrup into his vanilla ice cream until it reached a soup-like consistency. That's something I always did as a kid, Marner admitted. I just thought it tasted better that way. It's a quirky habit, but it's something I've carried with me my whole life. Some people find it crazy, but for me, it's just a fun tradition. Doesn't sound as bad as raw heart though, am I right? Let's hear about Ovechkin now. Number three, Alexander Ovechkin. Everything about Ovechkin is remarkable. From his great scoring prowess, even at this advanced stage of his career, to the amusing moments he creates like hitting a hole in one or celebrating his Stanley Cup win with a whole lot of boos. He is simply fascinating. And when it comes to his pregame meals, the great eight does not disappoint. While many players nowadays opt for lighter eating habits, Ovechkin goes against the grain. His former teammate, Brooks Orpik, described Ovechkin's diet as borderline inspiring, noting that Ovi consistently orders the same dish called Mama Lucia, which is a hearty pasta concoction featuring chicken parm, noodles, bread, and cheese, a meal that would require a five hour nap afterward for most people. Ovechkin makes a great spectacle of his meal, often announcing its arrival in the dining area well before lunchtime chanting, Mama Lucia, Mama Lucia. Ovechkin consumes it before every game and still manages to dominate the ice. It seems crazy, but it certainly works for him. Wait until you see what Zdeno Chara eats. It will blow your mind. Number four, the great one, Wayne Gretzky. Hockey has evolved significantly since Gretzky's era, with nutrition playing a much more significant role. However, Gretzky had his own intriguing pregame meal. Despite defying conventional sports nutrition guidelines, Gretzky would devour four hot dogs loaded with mustard and onions before every game. I play best on four hot dogs with mustard and onions, he famously stated to People magazine. He humorously attributed his success to bad breath. Gretzky also adhered to a between periods hydration ritual. While modern players opt for water or electrolyte drinks, Gretzky's regimen included a Diet Coke, followed by a glass of ice water, and then a Gatorade in that precise sequence. Gretzky staunchly believed in routine, a habit instilled since his high school days, ensuring he had something quick to eat to stave off hunger during evening games. Regarding the Diet Coke, he claimed it provided him with a similar energy boost to an energy drink. However, for most people, attempting to consume four hot dogs and a Diet Coke would likely lead to discomfort, or even worse, but not for the goat. Number five, Hampus Lindholm. During the off season in Sweden, Lindholm enjoys cooking regularly and indulging in fresh local cuisine. He notes that Sweden's stricter regulations result in stores offering healthier options with fewer additives. Conversely, in the US, Lindholm must exercise caution to avoid purchasing food containing excessive additives. Additionally, Lindholm highlights specific Swedish dishes that he misses while in the US, such as classic Swedish meatballs served with potatoes and gravy accompanied by fresh lingonberry. He expresses a preference for these traditional dishes over fast food, emphasizing his enjoyment of a well-prepared plate of Swedish fare over pizza. Number six, Zdeno Chara. This one might come as the biggest surprise on the list. Throughout his career, Chara was renowned as the largest player in the league, towering at six foot nine and weighing a solid 250 pounds. So one might assume he followed a diet rich in protein and heavy on meats akin to the regimens of famed athletes. 
However, that couldn't be further from the truth. Chara, in fact, adopted a predominantly vegan diet. The Bruins legend eliminated beef, chicken, pork, and dairy from his meals with occasional indulgences in fish and eggs. Nowadays, his diet mainly consists of rice, oats, fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It's truly remarkable to consider how someone of his stature thrived on such a light diet, challenging the stereotype of athletes as protein-chugging, egg-eating behemoths. Chara embraced the plant-based lifestyle wholeheartedly, attesting that it made him feel even stronger than before. He explained, I felt as you get older, you're trying to find ways to improve your well-being, functioning, and energy level. Everything you hear that people are losing as they get older. I want to be a step ahead of that. Would you have guessed that about a man as imposing as Zdeno Chara? Number 7. Nico Sturm when Sturm spends his summers in his native Germany, he makes it a daily ritual to have lunch at his grandmother's house in Augsburg. She lovingly prepares post-workout meals for her grandson, which are rich in calories. Sturm humorously acknowledges the necessity of his rigorous summer workouts to balance out the hearty meals, saying how it's a good thing I work out so much in the summer, otherwise he would come back humongous. Among Sturm's favorite dishes are beef roulade, kaiserschmarrn, which resembles fluffy pancake bites and is served with applesauce, and pork chops paired with potato dumplings and However, what truly delights Sturm are the various foods comprising Brotzeit, a quintessential German snack time tradition. This typically includes fresh pretzels made without bleached wheat or soy, accompanied by an array of sausages, cheese, and vegetables. Sturm emphasizes the importance of Brotzeit in German households, noting that the ingredients for this snack should always be readily available. Nice job, Nico, on the homemade diet. Now let's see what Connor Bedard eats. Number 8, Connor Bedard. Now here's a player who's firmly on the side of extreme healthiness. He Bedard is a very dedicated player, and even his dietary habits reflect this elite level of commitment. Bedard's incredibly strict diet came to light in an interview leading up to the 2023 NHL Draft, where his mother, Melanie Bedard, shared insights with NHL.com. Surprisingly, she revealed that Bedard has never indulged in fast food. He's never had fast food. He will at some point, but he hasn't tried McDonald's or anything yet, she stated. On game days, his meals consist of a rotation of chicken, rice, vegetables, shrimp, mashed yams, and salmon. And while it's undeniable that this kid has the potential to be one of the greatest hockey players of all time, it's also a bit amusing to think that he's never experienced the taste of a Big Mac or participated in Whopper Wednesday. It's a unique aspect of his upbringing that sets him apart, but it also seems crazy that he never got to indulge in a Happy Meal as a kid. All I can say is, good job, Connor, but you're missing out, man. Number 9, Mark Letestu. So check this out, folks. During a Winnipeg Jets preseason game, Mark Letestu pulls off this wild move that had everyone's jaws hitting the floor. He straight up chugged a packet of mustard. And get this, his coach wasn't even phased. Social media blew up with fans losing their minds over Letestu just downing the mustard like it was no big deal. It all went down as the Jets faced off against the Edmonton Oilers. Fast forward a few days later, and Jets coach Paul Maurice is spilling the beans on Letestu's mustard madness. Turns out, Letestu was battling some cramps in the third period, and instead of reaching for the water or Gatorade, he goes straight for the mustard. And you know what? It worked like a charm. Letestu said he's tried everything from salt packets to pickle juice, but mustard is where it's at for him. According to him, it tastes terrible for a moment, but then no more cramps. And Maurice? Well, he's seen it all in almost 25 years of coaching in the NHL, and apparently mustard isn't even that unusual. Adam Lowry apparently stocks up on the stuff like it's going out of style. But Letestu is sticking with his mustard game plan, and as he puts it, mustard's all right by me. Finally at number 10, Brent Burns. Brent Burns isn't your typical NHL player, folks. Sure, he dominates on the ice as a top-tier defenseman and goal scorer for the Carolina Hurricanes, but off the rink, he's got some unique habits, especially when it comes to what's on his plate. Burns is all about that hyper-specific diet. When he's chowing down on meat, he wants it straight from his own ranch down in Texas, which he and his family personally manage. For him, it's all about that lean, fresh game that he can oversee from start to finish. And let me tell you, that's a luxury he can't get when he's on the road with the team. Now, lots of pro athletes have their quirky hobbies, right? But when Burns starts talking about how he stocked his land with critters like white-tailed deer, antelope, and even wildebeest, yeah, you heard me right, wildebeest, you realize this is more than just a side project for him. Burns hunts and farms his own grub because, in his words, he's got a genuine love for nature and wildlife. It took him a couple of years to find the perfect spot for his ranch, but he always knew it had to be in Texas, especially since his wife is a Texas native. What do you think about these players' diets? Would you stick to them if you had to?